to begin with Doppler and M mode, I'll first show M mode. All the mode keys are here, so we will press M for M mode. This gives us first our M mode line, showing us where we want to position that line. And then here, you can have 2D M mode run or 2D M mode run, meaning these both do the same thing. So you'll press that and you'll get your split screen. You can adjust the M line here. It shows you the M position goes through here. You can adjust the speed, pressing up and down here. You can change your frequency. If you want to change the format or other ways that it's displayed, go ahead and press submenu. I'm just going to hit the S key. You can alternatively press this arrow key and go over and select it that way. And here we have your edge enhancement, your B mode rejection, your dynamic range, and here you have your format. And you can change the format, how this is larger or smaller. Here we'll go back to medium. And then freeze, and again, the same Cine review. Turn that off. Options work here. You can see how you're scrolling through the image here. I don't have a full line here, so it's not going to scroll through, but this shows you I've got 2.7 seconds of a loop here that I'm going through. You can also take measurements. You just can hit the calc button and then go up and take your measurements. You can hit this arrow and select your measurement, distance, slope, time, etc. Go back to 2D mode by pressing down the 2D button. And now let's take a look at Doppler. First thing we're going to do to get Doppler is press this PW button. It's going to give us our Doppler gate and our Doppler line. So we'll position this over the area of the vessel or the heart where we want to listen to the heart. And here we have a couple different things. We have update, which is going to give us a frozen 2D image. I'll show you here on the probe. So if I get an image here, turn it back again. this is just on my hand. I'm going to put the Doppler gate there. I can do update, which has a frozen 2D image and a live spectral Doppler. But I can also hit simultaneous, which gives me a live 2D image and a spectral Doppler. You can also use the same with color pulse wave and 2D to get triplex mode. Going back to that, go back to this PW, hit it again, get our gate, and let's take a look at the options. First, we have our cheat sheet here. We did the update simultaneously. If we want to change the size of the gate or angle, we can change it here with the trackball. We can also change the gate position here. The gate size is all the way over here where you can adjust the size of the gate for how large you want that gate to be. So we'll just go into live mode. Oh, I'm sorry. There's also an audio here. We can change the volume by pressing these buttons once we get into live mode. Let's go ahead and get our Doppler signal. And here along the bottom, we show how we can change the wall motion filter. We did show you the audio up and down for wall motion filter left and right for audio, speed, we can slow that down, we can adjust our gate size here, and our PRF for pulse repetition frequency scale is here. We also have our sub menu here, I'm going to click S, and again we have our frequency, dynamic range, the format, large or small, the scale, we want centimeters per second or some other format such as millimeters per second. Back to that. And we have our gray map and our chroma if we want to change the color of the spectral. Go ahead and hit freeze. Okay, so there's some other things in the Doppler that we could take a look at. You get out of this sub menu here by clicking exit. We have RTT for real-time trace. I'm going to press R because the R is over here. And that's going to give me a real-time Doppler trace with real-time values based on that trace. Here we can change. It's going to do the upper or lower or both velocities. And the sensitivity of the trace. So if I just click N, 
click positive or negative sensitivity, make it more or less sensitive. Now we can also do something called auto Doppler by pressing auto. We'll try and adjust the scale automatically based on what it is that you're looking at. We'll adjust the pulse repetition frequency. And various functions to try and get you what it thinks that you're looking at. Makes it, saves you quite a bit of time in adjusting your baseline and your PRF to try and get the best image. Our gain is here. Same as it is in 2D mode. And simultaneous, we can hit that active mode and change the gain in either image. Top and bottom. Going back to 2D, we'll also check the cine mode here. We'll just get an image. I'm going to go simultaneously and show you what can be done. So if I freeze, I have my cine mode here. It immediately went to this cursor thinking that I automatically want to make a calculation. And that can be set up in the system setup, which is a later video. I'm going to turn that off. And here I first have my cine loop of my 2D image up top. I can hit change and scroll through the bottom cine loop of the spectral. And now I can also change the angle here. It's going to show the angle and you can see that the scale adjusts by the angle. And you'll see the resulting angle right there. So if I'm back at 60 degrees, I have my spectral that way. Let's go back to 2D and let's try the color. The color is CFM here. So we're going to press this. And here we have our region of interest box. Here we can say change by pressing that top key and change the size or the position of that color box. So we can use the gain to change the gain of the color, push active mode down and get change the gain of our 2D image as well. You also see some options along the left hand side. It is set at color, but if we want power Doppler, we can press P. And again, we have new things down here, our pulse repetition frequency, our wall motion filter and the quality of the color. If you want high quality, you're going to lose frame rate. So anytime you change that quality to high or low, you're going to sacrifice or gain frame rate, depending on what you want to do. And here we have HD flow, which is directional color Doppler. So it is also for low flow, like the power Doppler is, but it's also going to give you a direction. As you can see, I've got blue and red. It's going to show me the velocity and direction of something that is low flow, whereas the color Doppler is for a higher flow and give you those and then power is just going to show you the presence of movement without any velocity information. We also have D for 2D and power Doppler where we're going to get the black and white on one side and the color on the other so you can compare. And again all the same things are down here where you can change the size, pulse repetition frequency, etc. Push D again to get rid of that. We also have other features under the submenu where you can change an ensemble. That's the very one at the top, and that adjusts the number of pulses per Doppler line. So you can increase the pulse to get better quality, but you will sacrifice frame rate. So that's M at the top, so you can change that to higher quality, but you will sacrifice frame rate, or you go lower to get a better frame rate. 